Buddhism and uh, Hashimoto's uh, embodied this, uh, this uh, auto view against the uh, peroxidase, as just mentioned before. So no thought was made in these uh, patients. And uh, interestingly, uh, more uh, cases are found 10 to 1 from female to male. So 10 female, 1 male, majority of them are female patients. In fact, many other hypothyroidism are also found in female. Okay, and the number of cases with uh, with uh, hypothyroidism or with uh, thyroid diseases uh, usually women. Okay, thyroid anti-microsomal and anti-thyroglobulin antibodies also exist because it's a huge protein. So sometimes uh, they will stimulate autoimmune response. We have euthyroid you remember the term euthyroid is still in the middle. It's not hyper or hypo. For normal or low pre T4 with normal high TSH but could be classified as hypothyroidism. So for hypothyroidism is for normal treatment. You just give the patient with more T4 because it's chemical could be synthesized and that could be used as a drug. T4, thyroid C, okay, that could be used as a drug. So there's a normal treatment for hypothyroidism. Uh, finally, we also talk about goitem, thyromagnate. Thyromagnate, that is the you know, head here, the neck, the thyroid band, and not to such a huge size. It's an endemic uh, goiter is actually related to one billion worldwide. Okay? Uh, this data may be old, but more or less the same. Mainly related to iodine deficiency. The cells keep growing in order to produce thyroid, but there's not enough iodine. So the cells keep growing, and that is goiter. And many of these patients will have pretinism as well. Neonatal brain development failed because of lack of this hormone due to secondary effects on thyroid hormone homeostasis. And so other causes of goiter are also related to your thyroid autoimmune thyroiditis. So we just explained that. And then thyroid goblin mutation. So the protein producing thyroid hormone by coupling effects uh, you know, not functioning because the protein gene is mutated or hypocylated causing goiter and severe hypothyroidism and sometimes could be related to the uh, mutation in the NIS, the sodium iodine symbols because we need this uh, symbol to bring in uh, sodium iodide into the thyroid gland okay? and also mutation in thyroid oxidase that is to convert uh, sodium iodine and then the iodine ion into I2 and that will bring in into the colloid for the production of uh, thyroid hormone and they could be mutated as well, right? those are minor cases and the th uh, therapy, so it's rather complicated so don't just look at the symptom, we have to understand the primary cause of goiter second, a test, remember we have this TSH, total T4, T3 and then the inverse relationship, remember the chart we have the test and final example, they are hyper or hypo or euthyroid and then most of the time for hypo ZC and then uh, dietary iodine with uh, thyroxine okay if it's a hyperthyroidism then we have to find out whether what kind of hyperthyroidism they are okay that could be cancer or could be Graves disease and so on but it's for hypo usually it's pretty straightforward just uh, supplement with iodine or even with thyroxine and to sum up, we have this uh, slide showing Graves' disease with hyperthyroid with goiter. The left hand side, this is a hypothyroid without goiter. We have hypothyroid or euthyroid with goiter or Hashimoto thyroiditis or euthyroid Graves' disease or euthyroid with or without goiter. So that summarized all these different scenarios that we could encounter. And again, the inverse relationship of T3, T4 and TSH would be important to give proper diagnosis. The last two slides will go on one of these uh, cases. 
the, this case is for uh, group discussion. I just bring in for discussion. Question number one: Normal daily indicator power down is about 150 uh, mic, uh, uh, um, uh, UG. This is a uh, microgram. Okay. Amodadron. Amodadron is a drug for cardiac disease. Okay. This is the structure of this drug. It has a lot of iodine, okay? And it's usually used for cardiac uh, you know, failure of those uh, patients if their heart rate could not be controlled. So they have this uh, arrhythmic problem, okay? The heartbeat are not stable. They usually use this drug, but it contains a lot of iodine. So a patient with this, uh, taking this uh, 200 milligram of amodetron, so what side effects would uh, she have? So you would imagine uh, extra iodine, so we discuss on these issues. The second one is a teenager boy, obese outlaw, delayed in puberty, development below serum, pesto level, poor school performance. Okay, so probably uh, MR, mother has type 1 diabetes, and hypothyroidism, the boy is presented with moderate goiter, okay? So explain the diagnosis procedure for him with proper treatments. Okay, you can think about this question. So remember the inverse relationship of T3, T4, and TSH. So first we have to identify and then predict. Would the patient have requitinism and so on? So it's more straightforward. And to remind you, uh, sometimes uh, we have to use this chart thyroid status and thyroid hormones level, we have the expected, uh, you know, TSH or thyroid trophic is reduced or elevated. Remember, it was reduced, meaning that the free T4 would be high, high, and high. And then if the TSH of thyroid trophic elevated, that would be reduced, free T4, remember the Worst relationship, right? So these are the different uh, scenario. Iodine deficiency, the free T3 is normal, okay? And thyroid hormone resistant with the receptor is not working, then both T3 and T4 would be at high level. And then TSH would be extremely low. Okay, so this chart usually the condition we use to identify the kind of uh, thyroid hormone diseases, okay? Last one, which one of the following is not related to hyperthyroidism? Graves disease, weight loss, hypotension, low blood thyrotrophin level, thyroiditis or thyrotoxicosis? So which one is not related to hyper? Thyroidism, obviously, answer is C, right? Hypertension is usually related to hyperthyroidism. Okay. So with this, I uh, hope you enjoy so far all these videos in molecular endocrinology. So I finish with uh, thyroid hormone and its action. Bye bye.